Hello scrappers! Tonight I'm going to be scrapping this. This is a Honeywell spark ignition controller for a gas furnace system. I have one of these similar in my basement. Um, I want to try reusing something that somebody gave me to scrap, so this is definitely getting scrapped. This one came with some wires attached to it. If it was solid cord, I would strip this, but it's not. So we're gonna, this plastic doesn't come off of these. These are brass. Plastic doesn't come off of these too easy, so they're gonna stay right on there. Let's get a little pre-scrap weight. Half a pound. Let's just switch it right to ounces. Eight ounces. We gotta start off with some number two insulated. This is also stranded wire. Not gonna be stripping that. But this one, a solid cord wire. That looks like, uh, does not look like an electrician did that. Look how loose that connection is. Yeah, that wasn't done by an electrician. That was done by a homeowner. I know electricians don't let stuff like that fly. A little bit of brass. A piece of, piece of wire to strip. Easy enough. This can go in your bare bright bucket. It's got a little bit of bare bright wire. And what do we got? It's all electrical taped. What is that? That uh, must be a wire that they didn't need. I'll clip that close while I can right here. And there's another little piece of brass. Some more number two insulated. I'm not seeing any screws. Notice, do not mount with this side down. Uh, it's probably because it's uh, waterproof. Probably to keep this out of the water. Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's some tough plastic. Oh, look, there's little clips. Oh, look. There was an easy way into it. Oh, look. There was an easy way into it. Ooh, that's a weird looking whatever it is. That's the coil for the sparker. Got some relays. That's brass. There's a bunch of copper inside of this thing, whatever it's called. I recognize it all. Looks like it's got heat shrink tubing on it. Give her a little nip close to the top. All that yummy copper comes out. And cutting it close to the top keeps that little piece of ferrite in there. Makes the board weigh a little bit more. These are going to be brass. Along with this one. Got some monolithic ceramic capacitors. These are relays. A bunch of copper inside of these. You can usually just break them open. Tiny, tiny little silver contacts in here too.
Tiny little silver contacts. I'm just going to throw them in my brass bucket. If they're bigger, when they're really small like that, they're really difficult to get off. My favorite silver contacts are the ones inside of circuit breakers. Much bigger, much more payout. Want to lose the copper we worked so hard for. Mm -hmm. oh, a stupid little plate off the side. There we go. That's what I wanted. Magnet sticks to that little plate anyways. Go in a tin bucket. Nice little, nice little surprise of copper in these. Don't always have to get it all, but get as much as you can. And how do I get the copper out of that? It looks so tempting. Copper bearing. That is really sharp. I think I might be calling the rest of this copper bearing as well. Call the rest of this. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to call the rest of this copper bearing. Board's green on both sides. That's a bonus. And these are monolithic ceramic capacitors. They look like they got some kind of a uh, waterproofing on them. So I'm going to leave them right on there. Yeah, this has got... I forgot what it's called. It's got waterproofing on it. I'm going to leave them right on there. Oh, not too bad. 
instead of paying to throw something away, kind of get paid to throw it away. Some brass for the brass bucket. So let's see how we did. Four ounces. And some. We got some copper bearing. This board's green on both sides. This will go in the mid-grade bucket, my green bucket. I don't even think this wire is going to register. No. A little bit of number two insulated. It all adds up. Now for the brass. Half ounce of brass. And a half ounce of copper. So we got some, uh, this has got varnishing on it. So this is number two copper. But this is hand stripped. My scrapyard will give me bare bright price for this. That goes in a bare bright bucket or a bare bright bag. So uh, not too bad. A few minutes worth of work, make a few extra bucks. So just remember guys, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.